Welcome to Science in the Apocalypse with Rob and Doug. Today, we're going to make some smoke bombs. This is Science in the Apocalypse. So, before we get to the bomb, smoke bomb that is. That's uh, not a smoke bomb, it's a smoking chemical apparatus device that's throwable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. A smoke bomb. Don't litter. All right, let's get our drawing out of the way. We have the thing. Oh the my thing. god. Oh my god. This is oh a long god. time coming. Oh my god. Long time coming. It took a lot longer than we thought. To get to 200 subs or for us to finish making this thing? Mm -hmm. Both. Mm -hmm. It's done. We've got all our picks made. We need to put handles. We're going to do that before we send it to you. But it's time to draw the name. Me, me, me. And whoever's name is on this piece of paper will be our winner. But that's gonna be later. We're gonna keep you hanging. Ooh, suspense. <laughs> All right, it's time to make this thing. So, so how, how does how does one D Douglas Douglas can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything. How, how does one produce a smoking device? What's in it? Well, I'm so glad you asked, bro. You're welcome for the question. We have here presented. 60 grams, because we're British, of potassium nitrate. Are we British? No, we're oh, Mexican. Sorry. Metrics. Am American. Er, Actually, Texan. Texan. Yeah. That's about as American as it gets. Yeah. Specific. 40 grams. Look at this belt buckle. Of powdered sugar. Can I touch the D? It's a D, bro. 60-40, <laughs> potassium nitrate, powdered sugar. Let's get to mixing. All right. Yep. Time to mix it up. <laughs> Seriously, it's time to mix up the chemicals for the very dangerous chemical reaction. Do not try this at home. Incredibly dangerous. Do not. You will burn down your house. Mm -hmm. You will. Mm -mm. This is not for you to re... To imitate. This is not for you to imitate. Reproduce. Reproduce. Thank you. That's the word. Reproduce. Rep Reproduce. Yeah, do not. We're professionals. We pretend to be professionals. Uh, if you watched our rocket science video, you saw us make rocket candy using s the same ingredients. This time, we are not going to caramelize the sugar. Instead, we're going to have it less compact. And we're using powdered sugar mm -hmm. because it's finer. Through extensive testing, we found that powdered sugar produces much more smoke, mm -hmm. which is our goal here. Mm -hmm. We gonna smoke, 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 smoke it up. All right, so I'm just kind of wrapping it up, a little bundle here. He knows who's in there yet. Are you dying? Are you dying? I, I, I. So hold it up to the light, see if you can. No. No, nothing, sorry. We tried. There's no other alternative here. Oh! oh. 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 Okay, so I'm cramming it into a ball. Mm, nice wow. and bally. I'm gonna wrap it in duct tape to keep it nice and tight. Is it duct tape or duct tape? It's actually duct tape in this case. Oh, quack, yeah. quack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna break the tip, the tip off of this stormproof match. Discard the wood so we have just the, the burning bit here. And that's gonna be our fuse. Taping it up nice and tight like a tiger. Tight like a tiger. The duct tape makes it a little bit more, I don't know, compact and held together and it just, it improves the smoke production. Mm. So we're not really sure why, but not yet. through trial and error, this is the best result we get. Lots of trial. It also makes it very throwable, which is really fun. <laughs> so, okay, we've taken the liberty of producing several more of these. You want to go ahead and show them? <sighs> Several more. Oh man, gosh. So this is gonna get weird. Smoky. All right, give me that match. So uh, now that I've made the duct tape wrap aluminum foil, I'm just gonna find a soft spot, like like on a baby. Mm. I'm just gonna feel around. A couple of bruises on the peach. That's a good soft spot. Now I'm just gonna just gonna give that a palm cram right in there. Ugh. Nice. Right. That's that. So let's uh, let's take it out and let's see how we do. Well, let's throw it at me. Ooh. All right. So Rob's got his scary gas mask on. Uh, yeah. Israeli filter. Um, it's very claustrophobic in here. 
basically what's going to happen is he's going to be over there i'm going to be right here and we're going to light these and just toss them at him and see if the gas mask does its thing here it protects me from the smoke yeah ready oh god Okay. Here we go. It is quite terrifying though. Oof. Well, no problem breathing, this is fine. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> well, that was, that really was something. It looks like a, looks like a nice little <laughs> island tribunal. Oh, wow, you can't even smell it from inside there. It was just like breathing pure air. I mean, it's restricted and you feel like you're suffocating like the whole time you have this thing on, but this one's still... I suppose you may get used to it over time if this is something that you deal with often, but it feels very claustrophobic. You feel like you can't breathe like you'd like to and you really have to br fight to inhale. Exhaling is very easy though. You wanna have a go? Feel what it likes to, what it's like to breathe through it? <coughs> Thank you. I don't even know how to put it on. You just slip it on over? Yeah, and then it's pulled to tighten. So a gas mask like this will not only protect you from particle, like smoke, but it'll also protect you from a lot of different kinds of gases. So smoke is not a true gas. Dude, this is a good look for you. I love it. Ooh, nice. This is also equipped with a drinking straw right here. Uh, you attach a drinking tube to it and then there's a mouthpiece you can get by pushing this towards your face a little bit you can grab it with your mouth but yeah so you can drink water without removing the mask so this is israeli civilian standard issue tough to breathe right i could not run laps in this no it's tough it's a lot tougher than i thought it would be very interesting first time i've ever worn one but it definitely really, really did help against this type of uh, attack. And uh, I was unfazed. Besides the normal breathing restriction that you're experiencing right now, completely unfazed. Really, really remarkable. All right, well, let's go back inside and let's see who won the thingy. Yes. You should see if they make this in prescription glasses. I bet they don't. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get inside. And we're back. Welcome back to the lab. Inside. Mm, I got smoked out, man. Nice and safe in here. No smoke. <laughs> I was having a borderline panic attack in there. Oh, jeez. God. <laughs> Felt like I was going to die. It's fine, though. For you. What do you say we have to fold that piece of paper? Let's figure out who won. Mm, it's time. And the winner is... Oh, hold on. Drum roll. There it is. Just, I was, we cue up the sound and it just happened. I was, Watch. Stop. And start again. No. Not that one. Yep. That one. Perfect. All right. See? I was farting. That's coming out of you this whole time? I don't... Nope, nope. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Pizza. Mm, yeah, that's gross. Oof. The winner's Bindi! Oh, wow, are watering. Oof. Is it that I, bad? I don't know if it was... Uh... 
Congratulations, Bindi. So we're going to mail you this lockpick set along with the clear lock so you can practice and really get your knack down. Um, become the rogue. Become the rogue. The ro you, rogue, you, you rogue. fantastic little rogue, you. Like a rogueress? Rogueess? Mm, something like that. One of those. A lady rogue. Mm. So congratulations again, Bindi. And a hashtag winner, winner, winner. Like and subscribe because if you like and subscribe, we get more likes and more subscribers. You're our best friends. They're our best friends. Our bestest. Follow friends. us forever. Check us out on Twitter. We're the best. Doug's the best. Rob's the best. Follow us. We're going to do weird stuff. This has been Science and the Apocalypse. Too much? Was that too intense? That was a lot. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. I'm sorry. No, no, like and subscribe. It's so important, though. <laughs> it's so important. It's so important. Ah! <laughs> it's so important. Like phase shift, just <laughs> <laughs> eleven. All right, let's go. That's it. I think we got it.